Welcome back to my channel everybody and to part two of the mega declutter and organisation of my children's clothes drawers. Now if you have not caught the first part of my video which was obviously titled part one um, mega organisation and declutter then please go and check that video out. I will put it in the info cards up in the corner of the screen but I'll also link it in the description box below. So it is right before the summer holidays end and the children will go back to school and I need to go through all their clothes drawers, organise them, get rid of things that are too small, any surplus clothes they don't need, put labels on all of their school stuff, organise all their school stuff so that it's all ready for them to go back to school on Tuesday. We are currently on well, Sunday before they go back to school and this has been a two day job so far. It started on Friday afternoon and now it's Sunday afternoon. So I've done my youngest son's drawers, which are just to the right of me there. And now I'm starting on my eldest son's drawers and I've got to sort out my daughter's clothes. And yeah, it's it's been a mission. It's been a lot to do. So if you like organisation content or decluttering content, mum life content, grocery hauls, meals of the week videos, pet lunch videos, day in the life and weekend vlogs, then you're in the right place. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well and turn that on so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. So as you can see, I am emptying out my son's drawers and kind of despairing of my life choices, um, hoovering out any dust and bits that are in the drawers. And uh, yeah, I've got to go through all these clothes, find out which ones are too small, put those up in the loft for my middle, my second son to go into, and just basically tidy them up. Oh God, oh, look at all of this. Right, who on earth needs this many hats? My children don't need this many hats. Um, I'm going to need to ask him to go through these and tell me what he actually wants to keep, because he can't keep that many hats, that's just insane. This will be going in the, uh, well, let's... Let's label this, shall we? Let's just label it with Zach's name. I've got a label on it that I can go in the hat and scarf box because I've got a school bag bit where all their hats and gloves and scarves are going to be kept. These pants, socks, everything, match it up or do something with it. <laughs> make, it make some sense of this mess. extra drawers obviously however I'm a bit confused as to where all of his black socks have gone I haven't given them all to Charlie oh no I have I have given some to his brother maybe that's why Charlie had so many no those are definitely Charlie's um no Charlie's got the grey ones Zach's got black ones I bought him a bunch of black ones when he went to his residential and he has black trousers and black shoes for school so I'm gonna need to buy him some black socks but I had a bunch. I had like five pairs. Now I can only find two. So unless they're in the wash, because I've done a load of dark washing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where they've gone. Anyway, so I'm going to put his school socks all in the basket and then his home socks all outside the basket. Because then he hopefully shouldn't get confused because he wears, he's going to wear these ones for school because they're white ankle socks. And he wears these Nike ones outside of school. And I need to buy him some more trainer socks as well because these are all looking a little bit too small for him. But until then, I really can't get rid of them because he won't have anything to wear. So, there's that. Let's only take these off. Now, I'm not going to label the socks. My friend did tell me that on one of the first days back at school when her son started secondary school, that he managed to chain, lose his shoes. He managed to lose his shoes. Somebody went home wearing shoes that were the, the same as his, but like three sizes too small and then he had was left with no shoes because the other ones were too big i don't know how children manage to do that but this is why i'm labeling the shoes this is why i'm labeling all of their shoes but i'm hoping that that won't happen with the socks um surely that can't happen with socks so he knows that these are his p socks he'll know that those are his school socks um, and his drawers get very messy very quickly and I just don't know how he makes head or tail of them. So that's one drawer sorted largely. We're going to have to wait and see because his clothes are obviously bigger than, I, mean, I don't know whose his tie is. I think this may well have been my husband's tie from when he was little. 
and then I'm not quite sure why why it's in Zach's drawer so we'll have to put that aside and put it away later um, but this is this drawer done for now and this mess of a drawer and my son absolutely like he lives and just lives in football kits um, but he's got some other tops and things so let's gosh let's go through all of this um, and see oh how we can organise it it is such a mess but I've got to get it all into this one drawer because his uniform has got to go in the other one. What colours fade my disbelief And make me forget my remembering Rent a car you can't afford Put it on that we both know Let your hair out in the wind Put the pair up to the floor so now we come on to this bottom drawer which is full of jumpers which I did not realise I was just thinking a second ago where on earth are all of his jumpers and he's got more joggers here because I was thinking I'm sure he's got more joggers than this what size are these 9 to 10 I don't think 9 to 10 will fit him anymore um, so let's go through this one oh, do you see what I mean he's got lots of stuff in here like his baby book and things and we just need the space we just need the space so let's take everything out i think there's a school jumper here that can go now as can that one um this is his little levers hoodie that he had made up so he's definitely gonna want to help keep hold of that and this is just a drawer that's covered in stuff so let's go through it let's just get rid of all this and then we'll make room for everything because up here is looking quite organized but <clears throat> it's still it's still going to be a bit of a, a push i think doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up Now, I will no doubt come under fire Because I always do Always, always do When I do these sorts of things From people asking or Some people are just genuinely curious Which is fine It's absolutely fine And some of you are so lovely with it And just genuinely like asking Well, have you, have you thought about what you'll do? Um, when obviously they're all, all bigger because I always come under fire when I do these sorts of videos for having three children in one room and some people act as if I haven't already realised that like they so, say well aren't you going to move like as if I hadn't thought about that as if I hadn't realised that having three kids in one room isn't the ideal situation I've never really discussed it properly on the channel because it's just no one else's damn business it's just no one's damn business as to why I live where I live However, um, I've all touched upon it. And basically, when I had my third baby, our, our situation was, was very different. When I had my third baby, my eldest was only five. And we assumed, like most people would assume, that after a couple of years, we'd be able to move. But we didn't foresee, A, I didn't really know I was gonna get made redundant. I was made redundant when Lily was eight months old. At the same time that she was deathly ill in hospital so that was a very stressful time in my life um i assumed i'd be going back to work but i got made redundant and then i couldn't really go back to work while she was little because she was just so poorly it would have been very difficult to hold down a job and when i needed so time off, it's like so much time off work to look after her um and then we obviously had covid Ooh. what happened then radiator rattled and then obviously covid happened nobody foresaw that the economy is in the toilet um, and we just haven't been able to move. So it's not for, you know, not wanting to move. And it's very easy for people to say, we'll just move out of area. Well, all of our family and our friends are in this area. Both of our works are in this area and they're not the kind of jobs. Mine is, but my husband's isn't really the kind of job we can just pick up and move. I could, but I'd need to establish it elsewhere. Um, you know, fact, being near family counts for an awful lot. And our family rely on us you know we have elderly relatives that rely on us and we rely on other members of our family for help and why should we move away from our family from everything and everybody the children know um just because we live in one of the most expensive parts of the country that's not my fault that's where we were born and where we were raised um i wasn't born here but i moved here when i was young um and then some people say well why don't you just rent well that's stupid that's stupid. I'm not going to go from paying a mortgage and owning my own, being on the property ladder, to then 
going and renting and being unstable and possibly having a landlord who doesn't keep up the property and, and won't maintain it properly. I've heard so many horror stories paying so much more in rent than I would for a mortgage of the same place. That's I, I'm not going to afford that, am I? Most people can't afford that. Um, I'd rather be on the property ladder in a smaller property, managing with what we've got and the money that I do have left over, give my children a lovely childhood because they're not going to be small forever and I don't want to look back when they're older and wish that I'd been able to do things with them or wish that I'd, I'd done more with them, um, if that makes sense. So. <laughs> It's circumstance, that is where, why my children share a bedroom. Um, and it's not anyone's fault. I am not the only person in that situation. I know at least two other people on YouTube who have not enough bedrooms for their children to live in. Um, for some reason, I just come under a lot of scrutiny because I happened to have two boys and a girl. There's nothing I can do about that. It's been suggested that I give up my bedroom so that my eldest can have a massive room to himself, which I think is ludicrous. Um, I, it, it's, we make the best of the situation as we can, as a lot of people do. Do I wish my children had their own bedrooms? Of course I do. I will be in a position one day where they will all either have the boys in one bedroom and Lily in her own bedroom, or in the best situation, which is where they will all have their own room. But right now, this is the reality that I'm living with. I don't feel bad about it. And if anybody else is in the same situation where their children are sharing, whether they're same sex, different sexes, whether you've got two or three or four children, even more in a property that is smaller for what you need, um, you don't need to explain yourself to anybody. I'm only doing it because they're for the people out there that genuinely ask nicely, not for the people that are going to be horrible about it or judgmental. I don't care what they think. That's not, that's not a concern of mine. My concern is what I'm doing and I'm doing my best and I know I'm doing my best and my children are perfectly happy. And if you are in the same situation, don't feel bad about it because I'm sure your children are perfectly happy as well. So I've managed to put all of his football kits, t-shirts, jumpers. He's got four jumpers. He may have another one kicking about somewhere. And then his shorts and his Jogging bottoms. Will I encounter problems with this drawer? Most likely. Now I've got to get all of his uniform in here, but his blazer will be hung up on the back of the door and his shirts will probably be hung up with them. Um, but they'll most likely just be on a rotation on the clothes horse, to be honest, because washing. So let's try and fit all of the uniform in here, but we also need to label it. Honestly, if you could see the chaos around me, and I honestly can't believe I've still got another child's drawers to sort out. So these are all of his shirts which all need an iron and I can't believe I'm gonna to have to do ironing I loathe ironing I haven't had to iron things for my husband for quite some time and now I'm gonna to have to iron hello, hello darling Lily is home we're in this together we both fall down doesn't matter if the sun goes up because we will still be high when the lights are Today we went out and bought their shoes so he's got these black i think they're maybe puma or slazenger i'm not sure i have no idea puma i think because of the logo there um these were 35 pounds from sports direct so i have labeled them i've put a label on the inside because i don't want him to lose them i'm guessing he's going to need a sports bag like a pe bag as well which i haven't thought of but we do have a spare backpack so he can use use that as his PE bag because um, that wasn't on the kit list they didn't say what was going to be happening at school so the school didn't tell me that um, so now I need to bag up the clothes that are too big because they're going to go in the loft for when Charlie's a bit bigger I need to bag up the clothes that are too small for Charlie so they can go over to the clothes recycling bit and then I need to figure out what on earth I'm going to do with all of Zach's knickknacks and where I'm going to put them now this is how it is all is so I've got Zach's Christmas jumpers here along with his uh, swim shorts and some waterproof trousers I don't know where we got them from and a scarf he was given um, a football scarf he doesn't really wear it it's more sentimental value um, he's got three pairs of pyjamas here socks for outside of school inside school socks 
in here he's got his jumpers his trousers and shorts t-shirts football stuff he's got all of his school trousers his school jumper which we will get him another one eventually um these are just a pair of smart trousers that i don't really know where else to put and then his pea kit has gone here but i've taken it out because it is all logoed i've been quite overwhelmed still got to do lily stuff oh my goodness i've still got so much to do i've labeled all their winter coats the ones that didn't have labels on label all their shoes i've got to go through and label everything in zach's bag um now i need to start lily's clothes charlie's new trainers when we got zach his trainers picked up charlie's these from decathlon they were 18 pounds so he's had these before and they're good wearing ones so i put name labels in those as well because he'll be wearing them to school and you never know if you're a soft player or something if the shoes get mixed up or lost um it's good to label everything isn't it we can pretend the time is still stay in the daydream chase the thrill make up the way as we go live for the moment lose control oh this feels like a little bit of a nightmare but we'll get there we will get there in the end right so let's we've got ballet stuff here so there we go her hat is labeled this up here with all the swimming bits and dance stuff back here. There we go. Now let's put all of her hair bandy bits and bobs in her little hair bag. Um, oh my gosh, look at the mess of all of this. She just gets things in and out. She doesn't, obviously, she's sick. She doesn't think about how anything's meant to go or where it's meant to go back. It just all gets shoved in her drawer. So if we organise it a bit better, then she might be able to keep it. A little bit better organized she got this lavender pouch when we were in spain she loves so i'll put that in her underwear bit just make her drawer smell all nice we've got a leaf in here for some reason um put a hairbrush in her hair box i've got another hat here a spare hat here okay, so i'm gonna put her hair stuff in this one i know it's got a c on it but that it was mine but i think it'd be better for her hair bands to go in there and she's got a nice hairbrush that we bought her in Spain as well. And um, oh, there we go. So we might just keep everything a little bit more organised if it all goes in. She's got a lot of hair bands, a lot of hair bands. Okay, so this is the top drawer. She's got pajamas here, pajamas and nighties. Here's a space for her fluffy pajamas. We've got all of her hair bits and bobs in here for when we do her hair for school and going out. Then she's got um, her water wings, her swimming hats, and swimming costumes, dance stuff. Although she wants to give up ballet, so I need to have a chat with her about it. School socks here, and well, going out socks are all one and the same really. Um, and then her little underwear bit, her nighty. Dokey. So this is what this drawer's looking like. We've got pajamas, all her little knick-knacky bits, underwear, socks, her purse, oh her little money wallet. Um, all of her hair bits are in here, and then we've got all the swimming and dancing stuff here. And then this will be where her fluffy pajamas go because she's got a couple of pairs of those. So now we need to move on to this shambles of drawer and see what we can get rid of and how to organise it. So I have wheedled down her tops. I think we're gonna have to do the same with the with the dresses. We're just gonna have to keep one part to dress, I think, because we haven't got room for everything. Um I know that one's gonna be too small soon. And then that's the cardigan that goes with the party dress. Um, right, we've got a couple of summer dresses here. That should still be good for next year. And then this is getting too small. So we've got one white cardigan. Oh, these are nice boots. 
Yeah, they're Lily's new ones. Oh, yeah. Right, so then we got these dresses. Nona got them for her from Primark. <laughs> So if we keep those three and then these pinafores, let's see. I think these were getting a little bit short on her, weren't they? Five to six that can go. So that's five to six out also. This is her new P top that um, was a hand me down from Charlie. Hmm, what size are these? Five to six. I think these are maybe a bit, a bit small on her now. These were fine. Are these all labelled? No. So now it's time to label her new stuff and take the labels off them. And then it will be time to clear up all of this mess that I have made in this bedroom. The finished product as we've gone through this is the top drawer middle drawer we have got cardigans jumpers hoodies kind of type things short sleeve tops and a few long sleeved tops summer dresses and party dresses and a winter like jumper type dress that she will now need to wear leggings with because it's getting a little bit short for her but she absolutely loves it and then got leggings here and then some shorts here she's got a ruffle skirt to put in there as well along with her denim jacket so that's all of her clothes in there and then her school uniform is down here we've got the summer dresses which will be good for next year tunics jumpers and then <laughs> excuse my children in the background and then a Christmas jumper, which will be good for this year. Right, I am almost there, guys, almost there. So I've just got to label all of his actual school stuff. I'm going to do something else with his folders. I will put his name on them, but I don't know what subjects he's doing yet. I can't really see how, how I'd find them. So um, I'm gonna wait till he goes to school and then he can label them. I'll put labels on, he can write the subjects on, hopefully. So he's got a notebook here. So I'm gonna pop his name on that. And he's got his pencil case, so I'm going to pop his name on the inside of that. Just so that if it gets lost, it can be returned to him. Now I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to label everything in this pencil case, aren't I? So we've got glue stick, name on. Highlighters, name on. I don't want things going missing. I don't want to have to keep rebuying school supplies. I'm sure I am going to have to, but I don't want to constantly have to buy things. But we'll see, we'll see. So even an eraser has got a name label. And let's do this ruler without interfering with the. Can we do it without interfering with the. Uh... Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, he didn't get a Pringles one. I thought he'd get the Pringles one. He got the Pepsi one. Why did I think that? I've been telling everybody he got the Pringles one. I think it's because I would have got the Pringles one. What's wrong with me? I'm putting two name labels on. Um, so, there we go. There we 
Oh yeah, I do need to put a name label on his lunch box though so i'm going to go do that now folders i have marked them with all the subjects that i think he's doing at school and i've looked that up on the national curriculum so hopefully i'll have everything i've got his name labels here which i'm covering up but he's got all of his subjects here english math science geography and it goes on um i need to get a couple more folders because i haven't got quite enough for all of the files so i'll do that hopefully tomorrow um but every day he will be able to put everything he gets to bring home in these folders so they don't get crumpled up in his bag. And then he can just pull out the subjects he has each night before going you know, to bed and organise his bag so he knows he's got everything he needs for all the subjects he's got the next day, if that makes sense. So that is me finished with labelling everything, organising all their drawers so all their school uniform fits in there nicely. It is all done, all finished. I am so relieved that I've got that job done now. Now I just have the task of tidying up some of the stuff that the dregs dregs a, a bit that i need to sort of find new places for um but i do hope that you have enjoyed this video i hope it's been helpful to you anyway i'm gonna go because my, my children are playing merry hell in the other room and they want dinner so if you have enjoyed this video i do hope you will subscribe and i hope to see you in my next one take care everybody thank you so much for watching bye